Hello, and here's another Reef Automation tutorial. This is a programming tutorial on the DOS by Neptune Systems. So let's get started. So the DOS uh, will have two outputs. In my case, I have uh, Aminos and Fido that I dose. So this tells me right here how much I've dosed in a 24-hour period right here. Um, I have an additional dose here for Reese, uh, for trace elements, and it shows me how much I've dosed right here. So when you open the dose, which will be an outlet, you're going to get a graph similar to this one. So you can add uh, intervals, for instance. So, for instance, here I'd like uh, between the hours of, let's just say, 10 in the morning to 12 sorry we are going to add 15 milliliters so between the hours of 10 a.m. and 12 I'm gonna add 15 milliliters I can add more intervals so I could add another interval here so if I wanted to do an additional interval at 4 o'clock and through the rest of the night for the rest of the 15 milliliters. I can also do the reverse. So if I wanted to remove something, such as an automatic water change or wanted to remove water from the tank, I would hit remove. And that would do the opposite of adding. It will show you a summary here of how much it's going to dose and how many minutes it's going to take and what the speed is going to be. If you go to the interval summary, you can go here and you can remove it as well. The control interval is for if you're using Trident automatic dosing, which we're not going to go over in this tutorial. So that's how you basically program the dose. Um, something else you could do on the dose right here is if you hit the gear icon, you can add advanced programming to it. So you could say if you had a leak sensor, like in my case, and there was a leak to kill the dose to turn it off. Um, you can add, if there's a feed mode to turn off the dose, you could add multiple things to the advanced setting of the gear icon. This is also where you add the name of it. You can also log your dosing, so you have the ability to review it later. Generally, with a dose, you're not going to be able to touch the fallback, so it's going to always be off. And it will say right here, a dose will always fall back to off because that's just something that's built into the Apex. So that's basically how you program a dose. If you have any questions or concerns, just uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, please like and subscribe my channel. We do live streams roughly every week, and some weeks I give away free things. Um, also, I have a multitude of other tutorials that uh, I've already done and will be doing more as needed. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.